Hey everybody, it's Jelly with Squid Industries and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the full twirl and the extended full twirl. Even though these two twirls are kind of complicated, the only prerequisite you need to learn before these two tricks is the basic vertical chaplain. So if you haven't already, then go watch that tutorial. And if you already know the trick, then let's get to the breakdown. To do the full twirl, you want to first start by getting into a vertical index chaplain. So flick out and get into that chaplain. You only need to do one for this trick, but if you're in a combo and you're doing multiple chaplains, it works the same. Just stop it and get into the twirl. So do that one index chaplain and stop it with your middle finger by placing it on the back of the safe handle here. So it rotates around and then I stick my middle finger out and I stop the safe handle like that. And from this point, this is where it can get a bit confusing because you're using your other fingers and moving them around a bit. So just keep in mind the positioning of my fingers and the position of the valley. From this point, use your middle finger and push forward so that this drops like this. And you're also going to be using a little bit of the motion of your wrist. So you're going to drop, and then at this point, you're pinching the safe handle between your index and your middle finger like this, and your ring finger is curled in here, and now you're gonna bring it in once it drops. So as it's dropping and falling, you're going to bring your ring finger here, and then while it's still in that motion, you're going to bring your index finger in so that's out of the way and then twisting your wrist and while still pushing with your ring finger and middle finger, bring the handle up so that it's now over your middle finger like this and your ring finger is on this side of the safe handle pointing out. So again, chaplain, stop with your middle finger, push with your middle finger forward, letting it drop, bring your ring finger in, index finger out, complete that swirl, bring it over, bring that bite handle over your middle finger, and now it's gonna look like this. Again, the bite handle is in towards you and the safe handle is away from you. Your hand positioning should look like this. From this point, all you gotta do is basically reverse the trick and then close it off. And what I mean by that is you're just gonna bring it back to the position it once was. So you can actually do this trick and just kind of loop it. That makes sense. So again, once you get to this position, all you gotta do to get back to the start position and end the trick is to push down with your ring finger and then let the valley drop like this. And now you're pinching it between your ring finger here, which is in towards you and your middle finger, which is away now and then you're gonna bring your index finger in. And your index finger is gonna be like this, you're gonna be in this position. Now get your ring finger out of the way. And while you're using that, your wrist and that motion from that flick, you're gonna go over like that and it's gonna fall over your hand and you can just close off the trick like this. To do the extended twirl, you basically do the full twirl, but you add a step by going down to your lower digits. So this trick is gonna feel really awkward at first if you don't have the dexterity or strength, which you probably won't when you're learning this trick for the first time. But the upside of this is that your pinky finger and your ring finger are gonna get super strong once you get smooth at this trick, and it'll help you with other tricks that use your lower digits. So get into that full twirl, and it is the exact same up until this point. So. If you remember, once you got to this point in the full twirl, you brought it back forward and closed off the trick, but instead of bringing it back forward, you're actually going to go down another step. So use your ring finger here, which is out and away, and pull down, and you're going to twist your wrist this way now. So it's gonna twist like this so that you can bring the belly over your ring finger into this position. So it was on your index finger like this, 
in the full twirl and you're actually going to bring it all the way down to your ring finger in this extended twirl into this position. So like that and then you stopped it and brought it over again like that and you're doing that on your lower digits this time. So you're going to that full twirl and from this point you're going to push down on your ring and then let it fall stopping it with your pinky and then getting your middle finger over the safe handle back here like this. It's gonna look like this now. Pretty awkward positioning at first, but it'll feel more comfortable as you practice the trick. Again like this, and you wanna get into this position. So it's gonna look like that. From here, you're going to get your pinky out of the way and then bring it over your middle finger. And now you're in the exact same position as the full twirl, so you can just bring it back like that. So yeah, you just add an extra step and that's the extended full twirl. Here are a few combos with the full and extended twirl. You can see there's a ton to do with this trick, so play around with it and try to get into it and out of it in different ways. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. If you got through all the beginner tricks and these two twirls, then you are probably already a pretty good intermediate flipper. So stay tuned for more tutorials because there are tons of tricks to learn. So subscribe and hit that notification button. If you haven't already, then visit the Squid Industries website and pick up a Balasong trainer so you can start flipping and learning these awesome tricks and visit our other social media platforms, links in the description. I'm gonna leave you all with a quick flipping clip. So see you next time.